So today's video is going to be a beginning of another series on my channel that I'm going to be calling Making My World Pink. And that is basically I'm going to be DIYing a whole bunch of things that I buy for my house or for myself or whatever. And if they don't come in pink and I can't get my hands on it pink, then I'm going to make it pink. So in today's video, I'm going to start off with my K-Cup Carousel. Unfortunately, they do not come in pink or I couldn't find one. So I'm going to just make my own. But before we get on with the video, don't forget to subscribe and push your bell notifications to notify you whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to follow me on any other social medias, I'll have that floating somewhere on the screen as well as linked down below in the description box. So yeah, if you want to know how or what in the world I'm going to be turning pink, then keep on watching. Okay, so I moved out here with all of my ingredients stuff and I changed my shirt to this ugly orange construction work shirt that my boyfriend kindly let me borrow. <laughs> but it's ugly. It's, I wish I should make this my next episode of turning my world pink by starting with this t-shirt. But anyways, okay, so this is what a cake cup car cake cup carousel is. I got this black one from Amazon. If you're curious which one I got, I will link have a link down below in the description box where you can purchase it. But basically, it's when you put it down, it'll like twirl and stuff and you put cake cups on it self-explanatory so there's that okay so let's do a little show and tell shall we I got this uh, primer Rust-Oleum primer 2x ultra cover flat white I don't know the guy at Home Depot recommended it so I got that um, I have my paint brushes that I got from Hobby Lobby that you guys have seen in my previous video where I did the vlog and I painted my Christmas Santa mug. So there's that. I'm going to use these brushes. Hopefully that works. Um, he also gave me this. I don't know what it's for. It's just a ruler. Oh, apparently my boyfriend says it's to stir the paint. So I have that. It was free. And then I got, apparently I didn't know that you needed this. I hope my mug is still good because I didn't do this for my mug. But there's sanding sheets. So I got this um, 180 faster sanding sanding sheet. And it comes with six. But um, I did half seas with my friend when we went to Home Depot. So I have three. But I think I only need one. So there's that. Um, and then I am on top to keep my area clean. I have this, um, what are these called? Plastic drop cloths. I thought they were a tarp. Maybe they are a tarp. I don't know. But this thing, literally as soon as I took one out, I felt like Dexter. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, and then obviously the main thing, well, I mean, well, the main thing is the carousel, but the next main thing of this video is my paint. And I got the um, Burr, Bear, has a bear next to it, so Bear Premium Plus Lifetime Warranty. Um, I got this pink, and it's called um, Premium Pink at Home Depot, and I got it in the the high gloss in in enamel yeah and this is what can you see it this is the color of the paint so pretty I'm so excited and I got a quart size because obviously if I'm gonna be turning my world pink I need more than just a little tiny thing of paint so there's that 
Um, and then the next thing that I need for this project is wine. So I got this um, low hanging fruit from Total Wine today. I One of my favorite wines, it's so sweet. If you are, if you have low tolerance for alcohol, I would be very careful with this because it doesn't really taste like alcohol and you end up drinking like it's juice, but again, it's wine, so be careful. 18, oh wait, not 18 and over. 21 and over only, please. 21 and over only. But anyways, I am not a classy bitch and I do not have wine glasses, so I put them in my pink tumbler thing well I don't know are these called tumblers even though it's for hot drinks but yeah I poured it into this I got this from a Christmas gift set from Lancome so there's wine all right let's get this started shall we so the first thing I think is opening this no, no? Okay. <laughs> apparently I have to sand first. Um, so apparently I have to sand this first. So, apparently I have a little fairy next to me that's telling me how to do it. Um, I'm assuming that you sand it like it's nails. No. <laughs> it's not not sanding? How do you say <laughs> <laughs> is that not standing? I'm getting some assistance because apparently I'm doing everything wrong. Wow, I really recommend that wine. It tastes so good. Okay. So we cut it into little pieces and then scratch. Okay. How Every last bit. How far? Like, how do you know when I'm done scratching that area? When it's less black and more gray. Okay, so let's go! You wanna know something? When I went to Home Depot... I have no idea how long that's about to take. <laughs> <coughs> well, since he's telling me it's gonna take a long time, it's okay, I can talk. But anyways... So I went into Home Depot trying to find things for this painting. Can you even hear me if I'm scratching? Let me see. Let me hear. Well, you know what? I have to scratch anyway, so I'll just talk louder. Um, so I went into Home Depot with my friend Chu Chi, and I went in to find some paint or things for this paint project because obviously y'all saw my painting my Christmas mug it didn't go too well I mean the outcome was fine but the process wasn't was was insane so I needed some assistance so there was this really nice young guy at Home Depot and I say young because I'm pretty sure he's way younger than I am <laughs> but I could be wrong uh, but yeah, he was so nice. He was like giving us like a painter's 101 thing. And he was asking me all these questions about what I'm painting to help me with the kind of paint that I needed. And I was like, I don't know, it's black, it's metal. And then I, and then he asked me what the finish was. Like, was it rough? Is it smooth? Is, does it feel like this? And my eyes said the complete opposite of what it was. Because I thought that this was rough. I don't know what told me it was rough. I think it's because I saw like so many other people have like a silver one of these. And so I thought if it's black, maybe it's rougher. So I thought it was rough. And that's what he helped me with. So hopefully it still works because it's actually not rough. This thing is smooth as a baby's bottom. So, that should be interesting. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, I wonder, do you guys have any plans? Are you guys single? Are you guys in a relationship? Are you guys in a complicated relationship? And then if, and then whichever one you are, what's your plans? And if you're single and if you have no plans, just you wait Sunday. 
Mark your calendars, sisters, brothers. I got you, okay? I got a whole day regimen planned for you guys, okay? On Sunday, get your planner and your pen ready. I got you. But anyways, oh, you guys, this is so much work. <coughs> um, so I don't use up all of my battery on my camera. I'm going to finish up sanding this and then I shall be right back okay so I'm back and I just sanded this down and now I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2x Ultra Cover Primer and my boyfriend just gave me a 101 lesson on how to use it so let's see if I do it well I have never used a spray paint in my life so this should be interesting okay Let's go! What are you doing? Hey guys, so for you, it's been 45 to an hour and the primer has dried now so I can start with this bad boy but because it's been 45 minutes to an hour I'm out of wine, so I'm gonna pour some more. Look how pretty! Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh my god, woo! That is a stick boy. Okay, let's start with the ball. Ooh, we're painting yes and it's such a pretty color oh my god I'm so happy I don't know how do you get rid of all the lines like I feel like I wish it was like a paint sponge wait this thing comes with a paint sponge does that work does this work or am I tripping let's try I feel like it's still streaking and if anything it's just soaking up the paint so I don't like it so we're not using the brush. I mean, we're not using the brush. <coughs> we're not using the, the sponge. We're just going to use this brush. Sorry, guys, if this is a really boring... I don't really have anything to talk about while I'm painting. Maybe I need to drink more. But anyways, let's see. What can we talk about? Well, it's almost Valentine's Day, right? So let's talk about romance or bad romance who child i got some stories okay i was telling my friends and they agree with me i need to write like a book i will literally have like tens and tens of chapters of books of guys that i've met and dated off of tinder and like from the club oh my god the struggles i guess i could do ones that are like not long enough for a full story time i feel like this might this video might be too boring so let's add in a story time shall we this one's a short story time because this guy and i didn't really date for very long he was definitely a lot older how old was he i think i was I think I was like 19 or 20 and he was 28 at the time and he was getting his NBA and hit okay so when I first met him we were chilling and I saw that he had a really really nice car and it was one of it was like a brand new Audi at the time and I was like wow that's a really nice car but I wasn't really into those types of things so to me a car is a freaking car like nobody in college in in this area a lot of people don't didn't really have cars so the fact that he had a car was already like oh my gosh we don't have to take a bus Are you kidding me that's great so i didn't really think anything of it of him picking me up in like this really nice brand new audi i was just like oh yeah wow that's a that's a you know that's a nice audi he, they keep it clean and he was telling me that it was his dad's or whatever and i was like oh okay cool and at the time he um he moved from somewhere in somewhere in south america i don't remember where unfortunately but he came back from there because he was working as an economist and he came back to get his mba or something like that and so while he was getting his mba 
he was living with his parents, you know, to keep money, uh, to save money or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I would do the same thing if my parents was living with, in the same area as I am, like in a close area to where I was going to school. I definitely would have stayed home because obviously I wouldn't have to pay rent. Duh. Um, but anyways, he was doing that. And I think it was on our like second date. He was like, oh, you want to go over to my place? And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? And my and please, if please, if I got young people watching this, do not go to people's houses on people that you don't know. It's OK. Second date does not mean you know them. All right. Second date could mean they're Ted Bundy. It don't mean nothing. All right. So please don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes. OK. But anyways, my dumbass decided to go to his house, okay, and he's driving, he's driving, he lives in, his parents lived in, where was this place? It was a place, a city called Medina or Medina or something like that in Washington State. And if you know Washington State or Medina, Medina is literally with one of those wealthiest places that you can live next to Mercer Island, all right? It's with blood, but at the time I didn't know that. I was like, okay, cool. Man lives in Medina. Sure, I'll be in this car, drive, 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 going to this house. We got to his house, and I was like, I couldn't, I thought I was dreaming. I couldn't believe it. This thing was huge. It was so, oh my god, I've never seen a house or a mansion that was that big. It was ginormous. So he parks his father's car, and then we go into the house. And I was even more appalled. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. I got lost. That's how big it was. They had like they had like their own private gym. And when I say private gym, I don't mean like oh they had a couple ellipticals and a couple of those things. Chill. No, 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 bro. They literally had a full on like literally a bigger gym than my apartment complex gym okay just for this family and i was just like what is going i just i i was like what is going on like i i couldn't believe it and then we were having some fun you out of here and there and then that night we uh stopped by chipotle to get some tacos and that's what we were eating and then this man, <laughs> and then this man says um <laughs> i think i have a yeast infection and decides and he said it was hurting really bad and he decided that he needs to go to the hospital and then he says oh would you like to come with me and at that time in my head I'm thinking my stupid my stupid self was thinking why would I go to the hospital with you what am I gonna say your girlfriend I this is literally our second date who am I to go to with you to your doctor's appointment so, so I said I'll stay here and he said okay cool now mind you there was nobody home apparently the parents were on some trip and so literally as he went to the hospital i was alone by myself so obviously me being the nosy bitch that i am i decided to walk around and, and you know check around the place because like i just said the place was a mansion literal definition of mansion okay so i was walking around and this is not this is how you know how big it is all right i didn't know where the light switches were how big can a house be for you to not know where the light switches are? That's how big it is. Okay, I was so I couldn't. I it, it was so uncomfortable. It was like they had a giant ballroom looking thing with a. T with, it was just who has a ballroom in their house? Please tell me. Write it in the comments. Do you got a ballroom in your house? Because if you do, maybe it's your house that I went to. But anyways. He, I, w I, I just couldn't deal with it. I was getting uncomfortable, yada, yada. And so I decided, you know what? I'm just going to shut myself into his bedroom. Um, oh, shit. And so I did that. I literally <laughs> went into his bedroom, closed the door, and basically took a nap. Ladies, men, don't do this, okay? You don't know these people. Don't do this. But anyways, I took a nap. He came back. Everything was fine. Yada, yada. And then it was time for me to go home. Now, he's about to, he's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll drive you home. Right? Tell me why this man, he's like, you live in you live in the U District area, which is where U-Dub is in Seattle. He's like, you live in the U District area, which is really, really sketchy at night. So, you know what this man did? He decided to bust out 
a gun in between us in the car second time that I've met this man from Tinder and there was already a gun that was loaded in, in, in between us that was insane i was so scared and then he proceeded to say he well he proceeded to vape his nicotine get the nicotine vape thing and he was like yeah um i used to have a drinking problem and so i try to fix it with a smoking problem and now i have a smoking problem and so now i'm trying to fix it with this nicotine gas thing and go to like aa meetings and this man had a gun in between us i was scared for my life God only knows that after that, I never spoke with him again. <laughs> and I never saw him again. Moral of the story is, ladies and men, <laughs> don't go to people's houses or cars on the second date or on the third date, okay? Because <laughs> you could die. But anyways, um, my camera's about to die. So I'm going to finish doing like the first coat of this painting part and then I'm gonna come back to you with the second one so I did the first coat but I'm not fully finished with the first coat because I'm still working on the inside of the rings um, so that's what I'm doing right now yeah my energy is starting to get low because it is starting to be late and I'm tired besides that I hope everybody's 2021 is um going decently. Oh, I will say that one of my New Year's resolution for the year is to put out more content, be more consistent, and yeah, just try to keep this two videos a week thing going all year instead of just the beginning of the year. But I feel like I've been doing it since since like November, so I feel like it it's not just a new year's resolution thing i do want to I, I i am putting out a goal a number out there that one of my goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year so that would be nice and that'd be cool so if you're new and you come across this channel please subscribe and push your bell notifications and i would greatly appreciate it and help me achieve that 1000 subscriber goal i mean if you all want to make it you know like a hundred thousand then you know <laughs> that's fine with me but you know <laughs> 1000 seems nice <laughs> i need to go to bed y'all but i'm doing this well, technically, I'm doing this part for myself because I need this to be pink. But I'm doing this process that's making it a little bit longer for you guys for content. Even though it's probably something that y'all didn't even ask for. But I'm giving it to you anyway. <laughs> so I look like a hot mess. I'm tearing up because my contacts are dry and my lashes are bothering me. But... <laughs> I just finished painting and doing the second coat so I'm going to let this dry and I will see you guys in the morning and hopefully by then it would look it would look really good and I mean it looks great now but hopefully when it dries it'll look good and I'll try and put some cake ups in it to show you what it looks like but yeah I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's the next morning and I did my makeup in a very pink way to commemorate this moment. Are you guys ready to see the finished product of the pink K-Cup carousel? Drum roll please! Voila! This is the finished painted pink K-Cup carousel this was a struggle and one as you guys saw but it is completely dried now and it looks perfect in my kitchen because I'm going in this baby pink um, kind of color scheme in my kitchen and it looks so good next to my pink Keurig so it's not the ugly black color anymore. It's bright and fun and pink. And I think it looks gorgeous and it looks very me. So yeah, I'm so freaking excited about this. 
but yeah and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below what items what other things should i turn pink for this series i would love to know and yeah um subscribe if you haven't already and i cannot wait to see you guys next time bye